Welcome back to Why Football, everyone. And today we are analysing Danny Ceballos after he renewed his loan spell with Arsenal for one more season. The Spaniard has had a mixed first season at the Gunners, starring in Arsenal's 2-1 victory over Burnley in the team's second game of last season, but then enjoyed some poor form alongside the majority of the Arsenal squad. But under Arteta, Ceballos has found new life, coupling Jack in the heart of the midfield of a 3-4-3 formation. But with the addition of Thomas Partey from Atletico Madrid, let's see how Mikel should decide to utilise Danny Ceballos throughout this coming season. But before we begin, if you're new around here, please subscribe to my Road to 500 subs and like the video. With any recommendations for future players to analyze or any feedback from these videos, please not hesitate to comment down below. Even if you've only seen Ceballos play one game for Arsenal, you will almost instantly notice his ball control and retention is excellent. His close control allows him to spin away from challenges and carry the ball in transition for Arsenal. He also knows when to pick out the right pass. His Meza Ozil S pass to assist for Arsenal's goal versus Leicester at the back end of last season and his near perfect pass to Alba last weekend versus Sheffield United showed glimpses of Danny's creative ability. With Partey joining the midfield, there's potential for Ceballos to be pushed further forward as a makeshift number 10. This will increase the responsibility for Danny to provide the creativity an Arsenal team often criticised for the lack of playmaking. Although there is no doubt in my mind that Ceballos has the ability and potential to be the key man in Arsenal's attacking play, he's only provided three assists in the Premier League over 28 appearances. This lack of consistency is especially worrying in what is a 38 game season where even one slip up can be damaging, highlighted by Liverpool losing 7 2 to Aston Villa, a team that barely avoided relegation by the skin of their teeth. You could say that although Danny's not getting enough assists, what about his big chances created? Well, that also is at three in the Premier League. Although he has spent the majority of his Arsenal career as a shield for the defence, with Arteta particularly worried about the fragility of his back five. In terms of the defense, defensive side of the game, Danny has only received two yellow cards across 28 Premier League games, so his discipline would be pleasing for Arteta. It's a shame the same can't be said about midfield counterpart Granny Xhaka. And of those 28 Premier League appearances, Arsenal won 15 and only lost seven. So even with the horrendous form of Arsenal match of last season, with Ceballos and the team, they won the majority of Premier League games. Danny does not provide nearly enough goals in the Arsenal shirt, and that's clear to see why when he has only had 14 shots in the Premier League, with only three of those being on target. Arsenal's lack of creativity has been evident, and therefore limited Ceballos to edge of the box and long distance efforts, as seen here versus Burnley. As a midfield player, he also has a worrying defensive success rate. He loses more overall duels than he has won, and only wins 30% of his aerial duels. This can be worrying when physical teams such as Burnley try to pull him out of the midfield battles. Another reason why the purchase of Thomas Partey can restore some steel and strength to the middle of the park. A final point is a blessing and a curse. Sebastian is decent at most aspects of the midfield positions, and at still a fairly young age of 24, has the potential to develop into an incredible midfielder. But honing down one midfield spot, and thriving in it may prove to help out Danny in the long term. Rather than learning the traits of a defensive midfielder one week, then a box box midfielder the next, focusing on one aspect of his game, while he's still at a relatively young age, will put him in a much better position long term to become one of the world's greatest at that particular skill, whether it be as a box to box or creative midfielder. Following on from that point, at 24, this season will be massive for Danny Ceballos. Should he propel Arsenal to a top four position, he may decide to force for a permanent deal to the Gunners. Or with Modric ageing, he may be looking to be a successor and hold down a consistent starting spot in the Real Madrid team next season. So in a way, Sebastian is looking to prove himself to two separate clubs, and hopefully next season, should he perform well, we will see where he ends up permanently for the foreseeable future. That is all for today. Please leave any recommendations for future players you would like me to analyse and how I can improve these videos.